Good morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, right here on the side of I-25, just a little bit north of Denver, so super easy access. This morning, I'm gonna take you through one of our new Logans, one of our other stock combos that we have. These are very popular, these 26 footers with all these different tack setups. So I really like showing you guys these ones. So I'm gonna take you through this one. Before we get started on this trailer though, we're gonna go ahead and pull up that drawing for you guys to review alongside with me. So we'll get that up on your screen and then we'll go over it together. So you'll be looking at that 26 foot combo. That means 26 on the floor. So you'll notice that you have a five foot short wall in your front tack, giving you 21 feet of stock space. And then you'll see this trailer does have some dividers in it. So you're gonna have that one front divider is gonna be your stud wall. And then you'll see that center gate there. And then you'll have another regular divider behind that. And then you can kind of see that layout up in that front tack as well. Noticing it is one of our dual tack combos here. So we'll go ahead and get back to the trailer and kind of go over some of these features that it has. So back on the trailer here, for those of you that aren't super familiar with these Logans, we are talking about a trailer that is a galvanized steel frame with aluminum skin. So very sturdy, well-built trailer. Um, with it being a brand new trailer, you are gonna get an eight year structure warranty and then two year nose to tail. And then Logan does coat all of their exposed metal materials in that black, what looks like bed liner. It's called their Vortex lining. So we'll go ahead and look at that as we get inside this trailer as well. But with that product, you are gonna get a limited lifetime corrosion warranty too. So lots of great warranties when you buy new. Again, galvanized steel frame with aluminum skin. So we'll go ahead and get started up here at, uh, at our front tack. It is gonna be that front tack on both sides. So each side you're gonna have kind of a similar setup here. So we'll have our regular man door with that window. I always talk about how I love the windows on the doors, especially when your saddle pad bars are right here on the door. I really like having that airflow by those saddle pads. Just gives you guys lots of ventilation, moves that air through there. If you do get some wet, sweaty saddle pads up on these bars, just kind of helps draw the smell out, dry them off for you. You are gonna have the windows up in the nose as well. Those do not normally come standard on stock trailers. We add these, we upgrade our trailers to have these in the nose, giving you more ventilation inside of this tack room as well as some airflow if you did need to sleep in there, take a nap, spend a night, anything like that. This trailer is um, held back with our door hold back right now, so it is locked open. So we can go ahead and pull our saddle pad rack off of there. It just unclips over there, and then you can swing it out kind of wherever you need it. You put it kind of wherever you want it as far as having your saddle pads here as well as that swing out saddle rack. So you could kind of put it over there like that and then grab your saddles and then have them over here like this and still have enough space to get in this tack room as well. Having all this open, you could even open a little bit further. That way, if you come over here to grab your pad, grab your saddle or put them back. I know I always carry mine kind of together and then it kind of makes a mess, but if you can at least get your saddle up here and then just have your pad and throw it on there, then all of a sudden your hand's free again and it's just right here. No climbing necessary. So really nice. And then you do have that D-ring and that clip. So you can clip it against your door when you are going down the road just to help keep it shut. That way you're not losing any pads. And the brush tray, another one of my favorite parts on these tack setups is having this on our doors right here off of our tacking space. It does have that same carpet that's in your tack room inside of here as well. And it does, it is removable so it can come out. Now if you do spill something in there, it's really easy to just pull that out, spray it off, dry it off and then stick it back in there. I really like that space for uh, just loose items. Like if I have a brush box, I usually end up just putting most of my stuff in there and then storing my brush box away because having a brush box just here on the floor can start to slide around and you can lose some stuff. Just throw it all in here. Fly spray, detangler spray, hoof picks, curry comb, soft brushes, rubber bands, mane and tail bands, liniment spray, all kinds of stuff. And then you do have your four tier saddle rack here, at four on each side. So plenty of tack space. If you are like me and you have more saddles than horses, you're gonna have optimal space here. And then we did upgrade this trailer to have that fold down step for you guys. So it does fold up and down, just gives it a little bit easy access getting in this trailer versus having to step up on that running board. You are seven three wide with this trailer. So you do have that half width running board. So you do have that up and down your trailer 
but having that fold down step just makes it a lot easier. It gives you about six more inches to climb up in here with. So go ahead and step up in here and see what it looks like on the inside. Coming in, first thing we'll notice here is this brush, or this boot box, sorry. It is the half width, but super deep. Lots of space in here. It does have that removable carpet piece in there as well. But it is kind of dual purpose. It acts as a step up into that gooseneck, as well as more storage. Just kind of getting things out of your way, out of sight, and then keeping them contained so they don't go rolling around. Extra blankets, fly sheets, boots, like quick wraps, anything like that, shipping boots, jackets. Maybe you do spend a night up here and you got a sleeping bag, you can go ahead and stick that in there too. Um, just anything you want out of the way. I really like having that storage trunk there, essentially. Fully carpeted tack room in here. It is that marine grade carpeting, so it is easy to clean. Um, if you did need to clean it, get one of those removable vac or those handheld vacuums and kind of just clean out your tack space here. It is really easy to clean up. And then you do have your carpet on your gooseneck nose and your drop wall. So if you did spend some time in here, it is a little bit more comfortable. Or if you did use this as storage, once you throw stuff up in here, it's gonna help it stick a little bit easier, I think. Um, so that keeps it nice. You do have a light up there in that gooseneck. So once you do get stuff up in there, you can see it. Also over here above my head, we do have a clothes bar. So if you were to hang jackets in here, rain slickers, extra hoodies, if you were at a show, or a rodeo and you need to hang extra shirts, button ups, show shirts, jeans, anything like that, you do have that option over here as well. And then we do have our same swing out, which we'll see on the other side, but we do have that in here as well. Get that out of our way. And then this black vortex lining we were talking about earlier in the video, it is again, everywhere on their exposed metal materials. It is kind of like a bed liner. I think it's a little bit nicer, a little bit softer. It's not so, coarse and rough like a bed liner is, but it just keeps everything durable and looking nice. So if anything did scratch up on this, if it were just that exposed sheeted aluminum, it would kind of get those black marks, those black rub marks, something like that. So this keeps it looking nice. If something did happen like that, also gives you that warranty for corrosion. And then resale value, if you ever did resell this to get into a newer one in the future, aesthetics again keeps it looking nice is the main thing with these i have a 2014 myself it holds up super well and then up here we have our bridle hooks with that carpet behind it so we do um again prevent those black rub marks but also keep a little bit quieter so if this was metal on metal it would get pretty loud in here and for your animals or livestock on the other side so it dens that noise a lot and then also keeps your equipment looking nice your equipment doesn't get scratched up and then one more feature inside of this tack room back in this kind of dead space back here, we have went ahead and used that space up and added you a 35 gallon water tank. So we'll get that out of your way and let you guys see it, get a really good view. So you're gonna fill it up up top. You just stick a hose in here and fill it up. And then you've got two spigots down here that you can use. We do have a hose for that bottom one down there. If you did wanna hook this up and then run it out your tack room door, if you needed to fill up buckets that way or wash off muddy boots, wash off muddy dogs. You can do that or you just have that higher up spigot there if you wanted to throw a bucket underneath it and just fill it up right here and then carry it out. You have that option too. But 35 gallons, it is really nice having water on board. For horses that are picky drinkers, they don't want to drink anything but the water from your house. Um, if you end up in the back 40 of a parking lot at a horse show or a rodeo, any sort of event, you're up at a trailhead and they don't have water spigots up there and you need to water your horses after a trail ride, it's just right here, super convenient. You're not lugging buckets back and forth a million miles. And then lights over each door as we exit, you'll have one at each door, nice LED lights. So you have one in the nose and one over each door. So lots of visibility inside of this tack room. Go ahead and step out and check out the rest of the trailer. So starting over here at our hip side, up top we do have one of those awning lights that is that bar type. So on Logan's you'll notice a lot of them are gonna have those lights that kind of stick up above the trailer and they can be adjusted. This one's gonna be that upgraded light, that bar type LED light over your tie space here so you don't have to worry about it hitting a tree branch or something and getting knocked off. 
So nice upgrade there. And the plexiglass is also an upgrade. We went ahead and filled those air gaps with the plexiglass already. Um, a lot of people like having that option to start with versus having to buy it after the fact and get it cut and everything. So it does come with it. Back here, you're just gonna remove this screw and take off these metal pieces and slide it all out if you did wanna remove it. But it is nice to have it, especially in these uh, winter or spring months when the temperature is cool and then, then warm, you do have that option of keeping it enclosed, keeping it warmer for your livestock or your horses. Being a stock combo with those dividers in there, we do have customers that intend to use this for horses with that dual tack front room. So we went ahead and added tie rings on the side of this stock trailer. That way, if you did want to tie them up here, you can do that. And you don't have to tie them on these support beams when your plexiglass is removed because we have plexiglass here. When went ahead and gave you those tie rings. You do have five of them here. Our shop can always add more of those if you need to. It is nice being able to tie them all on one side though if they do get along or separate them by tying some on the other side if need be. This trailer is 7-3 wide, so have that half width running board here. So if you did need to step up on here and check on them, grab a tie ring, step up on your running board, peek in there and see how everything's doing. Down here, we do have two 7,000 pound axles and we went ahead and upgraded two of those black accent rims. I think that looks really sharp on these stock combos. One of my favorite upgrades for these guys. Get my shadow out of the way so you can really see how sharp that looks. 16 inch rims brand new g-rated tires went and upgraded those tires to give you a little bit more tire behind there brand new lion's head tires you're going to get one year no questions asked replacement warranty and two years of roadside assistance we'll go ahead and make our way back to this loading space and check out what it looks like back here As you come around, you're going to notice the black vortex lining again. It is throughout this stock space. I think that's a great feature inside of this stock space, especially if you do have horses in here kicking up on those walls. You've got some steers with their horns rubbing up on the walls. It's not going to scrape up. It's going to protect your animals, it's going to protect your trailer. And then we did go ahead and do that aluminum whiz proof slatted flooring with your poly last on top. So it is that permanent rubber flooring and it is permeable. So anything that spills, inside of this trailer is going to drain out the bottom and then underneath it is that aluminum slatted flooring so that it does drain but it's also vortex lined down there as well so really protect it underneath this trailer when you do end up having something drain out of this trailer it might splash back up on there or if you get that salt spray on the roads in the winter that splashes up underneath this trailer it's going to protect that as well so really nice with that vortex lining and then those dividers we talked about on our drawing back here is that normal horse divider. It is removable. So if you did need to pull this out and use it more like a stock type trailer, that is an option. It already has it in here for you too. If you wanted to use it as a stock combo, they do come padded and with D rings and clip backs. So if you wanted to hold them all open, you can do that too. Go ahead and clip this one open for you guys. And then there's that center gate that we talked about. So if you did remove your horse dividers, you're gonna have this cut, cut gate here in the center for your livestock. Also doubles as a divider for your horses. They're all on those slam latches. So all you gotta do is just slam it shut. And then behind there, it does have a piece of foam. So it keeps it riding a little bit quieter for your livestock. And this one will clip open. Here's that stud wall that we talked about. So with your escape door on that front there, this kind of is a great space for storage if you needed to use it as storage. Um, I, that's what my trailer is right now with that stud wall up front and then escape door, it's just full of storage up there. We'll get you a better view through that escape door as well. Or if you did have a stud or a mare that was not friendly, then go up there too. And then you do have this protected kick wall down here. Again, this divider is removable as well. You can clip them all open and use it this way. You can use it with your dividers, take out your dividers, keep that center gate and use it as a stock trailer. This one is really versatile. And then on both sides, you're gonna have this tie rail that runs the full length of the trailer. It is really nice having that on both sides. That way, if you did tie head to tail to cram some more horses in here, you can do that. 
And if you had anything else you needed to tie it on this side, you do have that option. Especially with having that plexiglass in there, you can't really use these support posts, so got a full length tie rail on both sides. And those LED lights up above, kind of one over each stall space, so you really can see what you're doing when you get this trailer fully loaded. Great look at all that vortex lighting in here. As we step on out, and we'll go ahead around to that head side and check out that escape door over there. Kind of the same look on this side with that awning light up top there, LED light. You got your plexiglass over those air gaps. You got your tie rings. We got our board here. Black accent rims look really sharp, especially once we kind of see that exterior color on this trailer in a little bit. Really makes it look nice. And then that escape door. So if you did need to check on your animals, you can do it that way. Or if you used it as storage like I do, I'm going to go ahead and shut that stud wall and let you guys kind of see exactly how much space you're going to get for storage when we shut this. So again, you can use it for a stud or for a mare, but then you can use it for storage. Like I got big muck tubs in there, pitchforks, hay bales, shavings, water buckets. And then I also get those black plastic bins with the yellow lids from Home Depot and use that as extra storage space too. You've got that boot box in front, but then I also throw a lot of stuff in those. Extra sport boots and bell boots and quick wraps and all that good stuff. And then stack those in there too. So. Really versatile trailer, lots of options with this one. Lots of upgrades too. Um, there are still always more upgrades you can do. If you wanted a hay rack, we've done that before. Go ahead and add a ladder on the side here and get a hay rack up top for you guys. That's always an option. More tie rings, more lights, anything like that. But again, this one is pretty loaded out already. I really like that we've added the drop down steps for you guys and the dual access tack. One of my favorite things, I really like those smart tacks or the trainer tacks, anything like those side tacks, closet tacks, whatever you guys want to call those. I really like those, but I also really like being able to access your tack room from both sides. I myself have a mid tack that is accessible on both sides, and it's really nice just having, say, a side for you and a side for your, a friend, a hauling buddy, um, anyone that's going to ride with you. They can have their own side of the trailer. They can just know once you pull up and unload your horses, Yours are going to one side, theirs are going to the other. You got all your stuff right here. You're not trying to push past each other and get to stuff. You just have your own space. So that is huge for me, maybe trainers that have students. I did that and I also had a, I had a front tack that was accessible on both sides for that. And just knew that my students and all their stuff would be there and all mine would be here. And it's just really nice having that separation and organization. So swing out saddle rack here. You do have a grab handle on both sides of your tack room too. With that fold down step, make it even easier to get up and down inside of here. We did already check it out, kind of the same setup. Swing out saddle rack, fold down step, and then you got your blanket bars here. If you unclip them and swing them out with that window there, giving them more ventilation to help dry them off. And then your brush tray with carpet inside of it. So really nice setup on this front tack. I am going to go ahead and close this up so you guys can check out the color though on this one. I haven't seen this exterior color yet. So this one here is tan. I really like this color. I think it looks great. I think it's different. I really like that you will stand out, not in a major way, but just subtle enough that I think it looks really nice. It's just unique, something people haven't seen a lot yet. Uh, if you did have a gold colored truck and you wanted to match, just gives you even more options. Now you can match your truck with this one and those black rims I just think turned out really nice on this one. Fold up step. Lock into place. So when you do get driving down the road, it'll be a little harder with my gloves there, sorry. But it does lock into place and then when you're driving down the road you don't got to worry about it. So we'll finish up front here at our drop wall. This one talk about upgrades this one has been upgraded to that electric hydraulic jack and it's going to have a matching spare tire 
will have your electric jack here and then it has your battery box here. It is a dual battery box, comes with one battery. You can always add a second one as a backup. This one does have a disconnect switch. So right now I've got it turned on running our lights and stuff. You can, if you ever, you can shut it off. Like if you ever got home and you were in a rush, you were really tired, you left someone else the responsibility of getting lights shut off and stuff and they forgot anything like that. All you gotta do is just remember to flip the switch when you go, just turn that off. When you unhook, go home and then if any lights have been accidentally left on, it's not gonna drain your battery. So really nice having that option there, less to worry about. And then that electric jack. So all I gotta do is turn the key and then push a button and it goes up and down, hooks it up to your truck easily, unhooks it easily. And that black vortex lining on that drop wall as well up there, it's really gonna be good for the splashback from your truck that salt spray on the road, or if you're driving down a dirt road, gravel road, and you get some rocks kicking up on there, it's gonna protect it. You're not gonna dent nearly as easily. It would take some serious rocks to do that. It's not gonna chip away at that, and it's not gonna rust and look, look bad for your trailer. It's just gonna keep it looking nice and also just really protect it. So lots of upgrades on this one. That electric jack, G-rated tires, black accent wheels. You got your dual tech combo up here got those upgraded lights and a 26 foot combo tan color i really like this one it's a great setup so you go ahead and check out that stock number right now you guys are looking at it's 5n230070 again that 2023 logan coach stock combo 26 footer in that dual tack we can do them in a trainer tack we can add a ramp we can add a hay rack um anything you guys want if you are walking around, you can check out the stock number, scan the QR code, take it to the page, or you can just call me and use that as a reference. Say you want something just like this in a black, charcoal, silver, anything like that, different tax setup, just let me know. Use that number, give me a call. My name, my number, and my email will show up on your screen as well as here on my clipboard. Again, that's Michaela Geis. My cell phone is 303-918-6367. Call or text whatever you prefer or shoot me an email. Michaela period guys at transwest.com. Look forward to helping you guys out. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.